Yeah. For this episode of Naruto Shippuden, it was it was definitely a tearjerker. Naruto Shippuden, episode four seventy four. Um. Uh, I don't know how. I really don't know how you um couldn't tear up from this one. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I teared up. I, I cried, well not cried, but I teared up and had man tears going down my face. It's it's like it can't be helped. This this episode is is a ten out of ten. If you're wondering why I'm not playing um Doken Battle or Ultimate Ninja Blazing in the background or have any other stuff in the background up, it's it's this sense of like anything that I would do extra on a normal um Naruto review is 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 that it's extra and it's probably distracting because for this episode we first get um seeing Kakashi and the whole little um, part that we had of last week at the ending where they were about to seal Kaguya and you know Kakashi telling you know in his head that he actually that, you know he loves his team and he loves these guys and then we get the new um in intro now this new intro um, is the same music, but um, the picture is different. Like instead of seeing you know Naruto himself, you know by himself growing, progressing over the years, or Sasuke by himself, or you know anybody else, we see um, we see both of them at the at the same time, you know, going going after each other, and it's like like the growth between both of them is is what you know makes this series really it's it's them two you know and seeing how they end up and it, it's great because we know at the end of this episode and for next week's episode it's the start of you know what a lot of people are you know basically dying to see and that's a naruto and sasuke's fight like that's that's what we're going to be getting so to have this new opening uh, it 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 resembles that it resembles every fight that they've had and it shows it, 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 you know, all the encounters, everything. Like it, it's, it's, it's nice. It's a really nice touch. But for the episode, we definitely see that um, they seal Kaguya uh, as Kaguya is being sealed. You know, turned into another moon, basically. Um, she spits out um, Madara, and you know, Madara is laying over there. Um, the, all the tail beasts are, you know, are taken out, and they're all, you know, here. It's funny that one part. Where um, like one of the tell I forgot I think it might be Son Goku is telling um, Kuruna that um, his his Jinjuriki is you know is pretty amazing you know but then he's like but he's still kind of kind of dumb and then Kuruna's like um, yeah I, I know but he, that's my boy and you know that that was a good touch because the scene where. Kurama was and seeing how he is now it's it, it, it's like you know that that progression is always nice but um, it's funny that the scene that they have after everything's done and um, Sasuke's kind of coming back and he's like you know yeah we got to get away from this you know it's getting bigger and bigger and then everybody's kind of just like where's Naruto and he's like oh Naruto is going to you know take care of some business that he said he needed to do before we you know get away from this and stuff and basically his business is to go and see Black, uh, Black Zetsu, by the way. And um, Black Zetsu's sitting there and he's kind of like, well, this is the end for this one. Um, you know, mother's been sealed away. Now I'm gonna have to, you know, restart over and over again and, you know, try to get everything else, you know, going. And he's like, cause you know, he's basically thinking everybody forgot about him being there. And then, you know, Naruto comes in and he's like, oh no, 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 no. I, I haven't forgot about you. And He's just like, oh shit. He's like, you little brat, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I made you, I made this damn world and all that stuff that you follow and all the history. And then that's when Naruto gives out his really good speech about how everybody that he's come across has basically influenced him. Everybody that was either good or bad or that bad that he turned good has influenced him and has influenced everybody and has their own history. They made their own history. And like, I, it was really nice to actually hear that and really nice to see that coming from Naruto. Like, I really did enjoy that part. And it was, um, 
it, it, it was really, really brilliant. Like the art animation throughout this whole episode is, is damn near like perfect. But it was so great to see that and then see him being like, I know that you um, love your mother so much, so why don't you be with her? And then he throws her, um, well, he throws him up there into um, the rock craters while as they're forming. And then he basically gets stuck in there with her. So it's, it's great to see that he's basically been, you know, sealed away on his own because he has the, um, the rods in him that's pinned him and so he's not going anywhere so that that's always a plus right there that he's not going anywhere anyway but i really i really did like that part and then when naruto came back and you know met up with everybody and you know they had their relaxed chilled moment and then kind of so sakura's kind of like yeah so wait a minute how the hell are we gonna get out of here again like what what the hell and it's it's funny to see that whole um, comedy part because it's like that the threat is gone but there's still a little bit of threat and um, it's great to see that um, whenever they do seal her away, that uh, Hagoroma basically sees it, you know, from his palms and sees that um, the sun and moon um, symbols have like formed back on his hands. And um, he's already had all the previous Kage, all of the previous Kage there. And they all do um, a summoning jutsu and basically summons Naruto, Sasuke, um, Sakura, Kakashi and all the tail beasts back and Madara all back to um, the actual um, earth that they're that they are on and it's, it's cool to see that whole thing because where they all do the whole panoramic scene and sees everybody around and everything it's um it's really nice uh, it's great to see you know um, everybody is there. like it's, it's it's really hard because I'm fresh off watching this I, I really am and it's like I'm I'm still trying to keep my emotions in the check right now but it's really good it's like it's so, it's so great to see that because we have a lot of different um like moments a lot of different key moments we have uh, the key moments where uh, Hagoron was talking to Kakashi and he's basically talking about how you know he like he did do something like it don't don't make yourself feel like you're useless or nothing like that because you did do something you know you got it these um young kids and everybody else to um, basically making some great judgment calls and you you did matter and like made him feel really good about himself and i and i like that part and we have um the part where he says um is is he still you know and then kakashi looks down then he goes into his you know inner self and he basically is talking to um to obito and they're saying their last goodbyes and that right there um it's 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 brilliant and it, it was another one of them moments that was just like, damn, because he was like, look, we can go out as, you know, not being, um, not being enemies. We can go out to being like the friends and then they go back to like their kid selves and um, they both have the Mangeki or sharding gun as they're both talking to each other because, you know, as Obito gave it to him for, for the time being while he could. And um, they finally say their goodbyes and Obito, you know, goes back to you know the spirit realm goes back into the afterworld and Kakashi loses a shot in gun and while he comes out of that he basically almost faints Sakura catches him and you know he's like sitting there he's like thank you you know thanking her for catching him and she's like you know your your eyes and he's like it's it's fine you know Kakashi of the shot in gun is no more and it to hear that struck it it, it strikes you because it's like throughout the whole anime, throughout the whole of Naruto, you always heard Kashi of the Shotting Gun, the Copycat Ninja, you know, all that stuff. And and now, like, we don't have that. So it's it's uh, it's it's one of them times that it's like, damn, you know, it's 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 here now. Like this, uh, if you wonder why I'm looking up, I'm actually looking at the computer screen right now, and I'm just looking at the whole title of this Naruto Shippuden and I'm just like damn you know coming to the realization that this the anime is is coming to an end but oh my gosh having that and then you know having um, Naruto go up and talk to Kurama um, having the the whole Hagoromo and Madara like part where basically you know Sasuke was about to go over there and probably go kill off Madara but you know Hagoromo stopped him he's like there's no point in you going over and, you know doing that you know he was a Jinchuriki 
and he's not anymore, so he doesn't have any time left, you know, what happens whenever you get the, you know, Jinchuriki, and well, you get all the tail beasts extracted out of you, you, you're you gonna die. And, um, seeing, um, seeing him basically tell him to, you know, pay attention, because these are your predecessors, these are the people that you were reincarnated from, that are about to, like, end their whole, um, feud, like, Pay attention to how this ends, and seeing Madara and Hagaromo, not Hagaromo, Hashirama, um, have that moment that um, they're basically ending off like, yeah, you know, Madara's like, I guess your way was better, and he was just like seeing Madara like that, coming to like that inner peace and being like, you know, yeah, I probably, I'm probably not gonna come back anymore or try to do anything to fool anybody's plans like I, I was pretty stupid and like it was like him and uh obito had that same kind of thing it was like i really messed up this world you know doing what i tried to do and you know hashirama was basically going look i know that you may not accept us as being friends you know for real but at least we can pour up, you know, a glass of, or I think, uh, I think he's might, I don't know if he said glass. I think he, I think he might have said just a sip of a sake or something like that. You pour up, and we could just, you know, drink as uh, war buddies. And you know, Mater is like, yeah, war buddies, man. I, 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 I might be able, I might be able to do that. That's, that's, that's fine. That's okay. And then you know, that, that's basically his last words. And then he passes away. And then, um, you know, everybody's still kind of just like, you know, like, damn. You know, Sasuke's looking at it like, you know, that that could be me. Like, that could be me and Naruto. Like, and I don't want, I don't want to be like that. And the, the, the part that really got me is um, whenever... Hagoromo is basically about to say he's about to end the jutsu for all the reanimated um, people, all the reanimated Hokages that are there. He's going to um, undo the jutsu so everybody will be going back to the afterlife. And I burped right there. But it's, it's at this point that, you know, it, it really set into me this whole episode. And that like I started crying like man tears well tearing up and it's like it's it's really hard because like I said I'm fresh off watching this if you were watching this at school or something like that on on some free time or whatever um if, if I was you and you haven't watched this and you're watching the review right now um if you're at school wait until you get home because you will cry like if you're a hardcore Naruto fan or even just a, a casual fan of Naruto and you watch this episode and even if you have watched all the episodes and you still count yourself as a casual fan or whatever, you will cry. You will cry man tears if you are a dude. I'm not gonna lie, um, I did. Like, And I don't cry easily and I did. But the scene of having Naruto talk to his father you know, having a one-on-one -on -one talk before his father is about to pass on again, and he doesn't see him anymore. And by by like, might no, might I add that today is Naruto's birthday, and you know that's that's basically how this starts off. With their talk, he's like, "Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you, you know, happy birthday." And you know, Naruto just turned 17. It's it's so like even Naruto, Minato, like we're tearing up. I'm pretty sure Kakashi, like they probably show like for a little bit, but I mean I'm pretty sure that there wasn't a dry eye there. I'm I'm sorry, I don't give a damn. If you're the hardest person in the world. There you ain't gonna have no dry eye watching that. And him basically, you know, tell him to tell his mom that. You know he's he's eating right you know bathing when he can or at least trying to bathe once a day um all, all that stuff that basically his mom was like um 
quoting to him the first time she, he met her and um, he's talking about finding a girl like his mom and what he's when he says but um, you know it, it's, it's, it's kind of referring to you know Sakura because Sakura is like his mom but um, you know it I, I, like I said I, I wouldn't have been happy if that if that happened like but it, it's 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 at that and damn I, I studied all over that one but it is it, it's at that that I'm just like this it, it got me you know like it, I, I can't I can't front I don't know I really don't know how long this is right now but I can't front about that like it got me it had me tearing up seeing Minato you know doing the same thing as Itachi did to Sasuke whenever his um whenever his soul was going back to heaven but kind of basically and it's it's like seeing like I think it was whenever he seen his father like his eyes, like his actual eyes, it was whenever he was just like, yeah, you know, this, this, is this hurt. I'm pretty sure Kashi was probably somewhere crying too, because I mean that was his sensei and everything. So, I mean, like, like I said, not a, not a, not a dry eye. Um, it that that was that was crazy. Everybody's going on, and then, you know, the the episode ends with that. And like I like I said, I I didn't have a I didn't have a dry eye at all. Like both my eyes were running. Like somebody looked the damn faucet on and I like I mean I wasn't boo hooing, but I mean I was like, mmm, you know, tears, mmm, they were coming down. Now the the outro that we got the ending, um it's it's new but them putting in everybody that's you know passed away too like when they're putting in uh itachi jiraiya uh minato and every and everybody in there and whenever they they put neji in there god dude like i literally i, I think another single tear dropped on the other side like they were coming this way this one came that way and that one this one was a strand just for um uh, neji just just for him and like it, it damn dude like they they did it they did it justice I'm, I'm pretty sure each and every last one of you guys out there watching right now probably like yeah they they did this one justice this motherfucking lombard come in ruining everything I two hours later this episode like i said is 10 out of 10 i, I know each and every last one of you guys out there are probably thinking the same thing um like, like i said not a not a dry eye. um i just it damn like this this one was really really good and the ending was good the um, outro was good the um, the intro everything everything about this episode was good and i can't wait to see naruto and sasuke start their whole um fight next week hopefully we don't get something stupid happen to where they're about to start fighting and then we get some filler or something like cause I, I don't know i don't know how i feel about that i really don't but uh, I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna have like flashbacks and all that stuff while they're fighting. Oh, I'm pretty sure. So, damn, I, I've, I've rambled on enough on my raw emotions of watching this episode. If you if you enjoyed, smack a like on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you did you cry? Did you cry man tears, or did you just boo hoo all out? Because, yeah, I man tears I, I i i did that um share the video you can also comment and tell me how um you would have rated this episode or what you liked the most out of this episode because that that's a good one what you like most out of this episode too because there's so much good to like in this but yeah guys i'm i see josh coming off coming off some damn man tears i'm out guys peace I just want you guys Number to know Number one, that. there's going to be some dokens. I guess they're going to be coming back or whatever. Whoa.